Here I have the RoboRock Q, and I'm going to show you how to repair the Wi-Fi as well as how to do a factory reset. So you can see this is the Q Revo here, and on the iPhone app, it says device offline. You might have changed your Wi-Fi network, or for whatever reason, your robot is not connecting to your Wi-Fi. We're going to go ahead and hit reconnect on the app, and from here it's going to ask us to select our current Wi-Fi network at home, and then once you have that selected, you hit next. Now on the Revo Q itself, we're going to press and hold the power and home buttons. Resetting Wi-Fi. And you'll hear that command resetting Wi-Fi. Go ahead, come back to the app, hit next. So on our phone here, we're going to go to Wi-Fi settings, tap into the Robo Rock, go back to the app, and it's going to connect your Robo Rock to your Wi-Fi. So now you can see we agree to the terms and conditions and our RoboRock Q Revo has been reconnected to our account and ready to go. Now for part two of this video on how to perform a factory reset, we're going to locate the reset button. So lift the lid up and you'll notice next to the LED indicator, there is a reset button that we can use a paper clip to push in. If you push it once, it only resets the device. To reset it to factory settings, we're gonna press and hold the home button. Hold that down for three to five seconds. And then we're gonna use a pin, press the reset button. Push both those buttons in for five seconds, let go of the reset button and keep holding down on the home button for an additional five seconds. Restoring factory settings. And now you'll You'll hear the robot reel will restore to factory settings. And per RoboRock's guidelines, a factory restore will disconnect the RoboRock from Wi-Fi. Factory restore will also reset the firmware to the initial firmware that came with the device. And factory restore will also delete all your settings like scheduled cleanings, and it will delete um, the history cleaning logs, as well as the logs for the size, map, and brushes. The total duration and total times of cleaning and total size will still be kept there, however. So now we can go to our RoboRock app, and to re-add the device to our account, we're gonna hit the plus icon, and we're going to scan the QR code located right here. And now it will reconnect the RoboRock to our cell phone. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Stand by. Wi-Fi connected. And now you can see our RoboRock has been re-added to our account. It's set up like new. It is located here. And to upgrade the firmware, we're going to tap on the hamburger up top. We're going to go to firmware updates and do update now. Recharge. So it looks like we just need to keep it docked, but that's it for the reset. If you guys did find the video helpful, please leave me a big thumbs up. Check out my channel for tech videos, subscribe, and leave your comments down below. I'll answer those when I can, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.